morning ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another day of the video. Darren, how's it going today? Today I've got a news flash for people who don't live in the UK. Um, a while ago, not that long ago actually, um, the UK decided to be cool like America and call our storms things like names, like Americans call their hurricanes names. But when they proposed that, they didn't realise that actually it's nearly always stormy in the UK and it's always windy as fuck. So, since that decision, we have all, since for the past since it started, we've had at least two storms a week. We are currently being beaten by Storm Imogen. Um, it's fucking windy as fuck. It's um, raining sideways out there. But yeah, it's like, these things, they didn't used to be given a name. And now it's just like, I feel like they regret it, because I'm like, fuck, we're gonna run out of names soon. Because <laughs> it's just always windy. But yeah, it's bloody windy out. Um, but we're on campus, I've walked this way to try and get a respite from the bloody wind. As you see, these automatic doors can barely open up because it's that bloody windy. Right, as well, to be fair, this is probably the closest to a storm we've had. And I can't, like, there's no point in me vlogging. It's been raining non-stop, basically, since yesterday. And I swear, last night it was really heavy rain. And I swear, thunder and lightning woke me up. But I don't know whether I was dreaming that or not, because the Laura doesn't remember it, so who knows. Guys, ladies and gentlemen, it's eight o'clock. That means go to the library. We're gonna spend until 10 o'clock today doing final year project stuff. I stumbled uh, last Friday, but I'm back up on the ground and I just need to catch up for the lost time. Um, so that's my plan of attack. And then I've got a lecture at 10 o'clock and my new module lecture later. So I've got to decide today whether I'm changing or not. Let's try sitting in the scenic spot instead of in the dark. <laughs> Look at that rain, bloody whistle. I'll talk to you when I get home. It is unbelievable how windy it is. Ladies and gentlemen, we can talk now a little bit um, instead of getting home and doing it. I want to hold you as well because I want to keep cutting you, keep it fresh, keep it exciting. It has to be said, I don't think I've ever seen it be this windy. I was walking along parade on the way home, on the way back to my car, and I literally, like, the wind just took my bag off my shoulder, whipped my coat up around me, and I nearly friggin' went running down the road, I did. Nearly blew me off my feet. Sure, like, that thing's busy, um, like, it's windy anyway. And this storm probably doesn't help, but Christ, I'm on a bike, it's windy today. So, um, otherwise though, what's been going on, ladies and gentlemen? I spent the first couple of hours, um, first two hours uh, in the library, as I normally do. I didn't have any notes to type up, because the last notes I got were maths notes um, on a module I'm not taking anymore. Um, so, I instead focused on um, doing uh, my programming. And, you remember yesterday I got my system working so that it would work and run against um, my code. So, what I did was I polished around a bit, I did a bit of checking, making sure that there wasn't anything um, like I'd put in during the debugging process that I didn't want in there. Uh, went through, cleaned all that kind of stuff out. I tested it for multi-threaded systems, like uh, running multiple builds. I've designed it in a way where in theory you could run it in multiple different threads, in multiple different like capacitors. In theory, you could spin up 10 different servers and do builds on 10 different build servers and then come back together onto one server that's doing most of the work if you wanted to. Um, but at the moment, my threading is designed in kind of a super step way where you have like a couple of threads and then it just spools up a load of threads, does a load of work, then comes back down again. Um, but the problem is you can't do that with MS Build. MS Build doesn't let you queue too many. I think it'll let you queue if you have four cores. I think it lets you queue four, but it won't let you queue any more than that. So, as a temporary get around, what I've essentially done is I've just taken out the multi-threaded part and just say do this one, do this one, do this one, do this one, do it in a batch. 
job instead of that. I, in theory, I want to move that to more of a pipeline model because as soon as that's built, it's kind of sat there idle. Whereas I could just pass it straight on to run the tests and then I can start getting parallelism through a parallel pipeline, uh, which would be much better. But not really important at this precise moment in time. I need to focus on other things. Uh, so got it running on multiple threads. So it will now spin up 10 different things. It'll, it can run 10 times the test suites at the same time and all that kind of stuff. That's not a problem at all. Uh, and then I went to my lecture, went to my HCI lecture um, today, where we talked about models um, and like how people visualize things like the back button on a web browser working and uh, how people think of like a thermostat. Or you think about this, like when you go home and you're doing cooking and you want to boil some water on a hob, sent, like some people will turn the power up, like the temperature really high to try and heat it up quicker and then you'll turn it back down but it doesn't work like that it's literally either on or off and then it just fluctuates between the two um, and it does that with like boiler central heating in a house there is no dial there's no continuous setting it's literally on or off but then that design choice of the dial makes people think of it more like a volume dial but anyway so that was interesting I then went to the lab and sat with uh, Freya and was doing funny project stuff I'm going through the process of building my object that is storing the results from the test files because um, at the moment it's just being dumped in a in a log file essentially onto the computer I need to pull that out so that my system can understand it um, I had to I had a cheeky little bit of lunch and I'm out of the traffic so blah. also looks as though I'm gonna have to get that looked at if it's the same thing which I assume it is yeah last week I cleared off an error message saying something to do with the oxygen sensor on the exhaust. Assuming that's the same problem, um, it means I'm going to have to go have it looked at because it means it's come back in about two or three days. So, not good at all. Um, otherwise though, ladies and gentlemen, I am back home. I'm just currently looking up. I've just beaten Laura back by maybe like 10-15 minutes. I'm heating up the oven um, because we are... She wants a... Um, Sweet jacket potato, and I don't know how long. I know you microwave it for a little bit and then you oven it to like speed it up, but I don't know how um, how much of that time I need to do. So, um, otherwise, what were we talking about? Progress and stuff. Yes, yeah, so I went to sat in the lab, uh, talked to Lewis for a bit. Lewis came around, uh, sat with Freya, and then uh, Andy popped in momentarily and then disappeared again as he had lectures and stuff to go to. Uh, right, cool. Lewis replied. Awesome sauce. The way it's phone as well. My phone's upgraded to Android um, Lollipop Marshmallow. It's really good. Uh, I like it. So, um, otherwise, what's going on in our life? Um, yeah. And then we went to our last lecture of the day, which is a two o'clock. It's like two o'clock, two hours long, and it's entrepreneurship. My new module, module I've taken uh, over the logic and semantics of programming languages, um, and it's really, really good. We went through like a couple of like really core. Cool things like really briefly at the beginning and then essentially we were like thrown into groups and we've created a group, a relatively large group, it's going to be between four or five based on whether this other guy stays or not. Four of us are definitely staying, one of us might swip or change. Um, and we've basically got to like think of a business, think of like who our end users are, find a problem. We spent like the an hour and a bit finding problems, finding people that affect those prob that those problems affect and then like ways that we can make that problem better and how we can work with them to make it better and all that kind of stuff. It was really, really interesting and it's something that is going to be... I'm really looking forward to it. I'm generally looking forward to it. It's probably... I look forward to that probably the most out of all of my lectures now. Um, even more so than HCI and I fucking love HCI. So I went and handed in my um, form to change. So I've officially handed in my form to change to that module. Um, which is good, it means I officially don't have logic and semantics program lectures anymore. Which also, as a swing, means I now don't have lectures on a Wednesday or Thursday, or Wednesday or Friday. So, fucking ace. <laughs> Saves me a lot of petrol money. I drove back, I left today at about half four, which isn't a brilliant time to leave due to the um, general uh, problem, like, time. Obviously rush hour, I get back to Bristol or about rush hour, but I'm going the opposite way, so I actually did okay. Um, and yeah, like I say, uh, Laura's coming back, we're going to draft together a meal plan and go shopping, although apparently she's feeling a little bit poorly, so we shall see. She's got a bit of stomach ache, apparently. Um, but yeah, otherwise, tonight, 
type through some lecture notes. What I do essentially is in like the hour before lectures in the morning I'll type up lecture notes, uh, program basically all day uh, and obviously I'm going to have to start pumping in some time for this for, for this uh, entrepreneurship module um, and also we've got a really good idea for the entrepreneurship. I had a really good idea before I went. I was like, oh, I'll pitch this for them. We'll see if they like it. They might think of other ideas. We pitched four ideas and everyone liked it. And then fucking the lecturer is like, no, that's a really good idea. I'm like, yes, mate. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm basically gonna be a multi-millionaire with all my ideas, um, but it's not anything to do with my final year project idea. It's an idea based around other things, um, namely insurance. So we'll see. We'll see if it's business like viable. It's the difference between having a good idea and it being, it being viable. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna boil the kettle as well for Laura. Uh, yeah, so what was I saying? <laughs> During the day, I do things like this group work and my final year project programming. And then in the evening, I am evening. I am like doing other tasks that take a little bit less effort. So I can go and do programming, and I might do this week because of my demo of progress is next week. Um, so I need to push through and get as far in as possible into the next little bit um, so I can demo it. Um, but, like, so tonight we'll go shopping and whatnot, and so, like, by the time we've gone shopping, come back, settle down, it's probably not going to be much time to do stuff. Although if Laura's going to bed early, and she might do if she's ill, I might stay up a little bit later and throw together. Like, I've got to prepare a presentation for my demo of progress. Um, got to go through last week's entrepreneurship lecture, which I missed for obvious reasons. So there's lots to do. I'm just putting oven on now, waiting for, waiting for it to get hot so I can put it in. Put Laura's jacket spud in. I'm having pasta because we're having chili, chili and pasta, or chili and jacket. Or also, Jim is here. I don't know where I was pointing you then. But I believe Jim is asleep in her little house. Yes, yeah, she is. She's asleep in there. What a fucking cutie. Although she has been chewing the top of it quite a lot. But we think that might be because it's now being pushed along because of the way we've had to spin around that to stop her getting in. We don't know. Hopefully she's not getting stressed. She looks relaxed. We'll see. And ladies and gentlemen, we've gone shopping and stuff. And um, we've come back. Uh, we actually got back from shopping quite quickly. Um, but yeah, went shopping relatively, well no it wasn't actually, it was a bit small shopping. It was this thingy. Uh, we've had Graham out for long enough, like ages, like maybe like an hour and a half to two hours, which means obviously we, we needed to wash that. <laughs> but uh, she's like running around with this as well. Um, but otherwise, we're heading to bed. Well, not particularly tired, but we'll. It's got stuff to do. Also, tried this out. That's good too. Um, and yeah. Right then, tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen, we're on campus from. I believe I've got a 9.15, yeah, 9.15 and a 2.15. Um, a 9 o'clock and a 2 o'clock lecture. So it'll be a case of, and they're both cryptography. So that's what I've got. I'm gonna be doing programming during the day. I've got notes to type up from today and a lecture to go through from a day previous. So lots to do. <laughs> Busy day. I'll catch you later.